Hello, and welcome to another day. You join me at the end of what I just filmed because somehow I deleted the original footage for the intro of this video. Um, we've had some terrible weather. It's been like negative 25 degrees uh, up until about a week, two weeks ago. Um, we got two feet of snow. It's been insane. So um, progress was a little bit slow getting things done. Um, I didn't want to be out here and I've been working a lot. So anyways, enjoy the video. If you guys do like this video, you like the content, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the bell, make sure to like the video. It really does help me out I'm trying to grow the channel so that I can do this a little bit more. So until then, enjoy it. So this mattress was chosen by yours truly because it's completely made out of foam. Number one, number two, it folds up. And uh, also it's like the cheapest thing I could find on the internet. So what we need to do is trim this foam down to fit in the back properly. Ugh. We're gonna trim it off of this edge. It doesn't seem to wanna blow up. I think what I'm also gonna do is flip this over. So I've got 49 inches of space in the back, <clears throat> but I think I'm gonna go 49 and a half. in the way okay so the next thing i'm going to do because this thing is huge this is my air conditioner um for when i'm hooked up to shore power so i can keep it cool in here i was going to do like a window style unit but i like this one because when i'm not using it or like during the winter months i can yank this thing out have a little more space right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a little box frame around it and i'm going to cut a hole right here for the drain and the uh, the hot air to come out of. So let's let's cut this carpet away. I already looked underneath. There's nothing there except for a uh, for an e-brake cable, and that's pretty much it. So there's no like fuel line or anything. That's all inboard. So right here on the edge, I should be okay. So let's cut a quick hole in this carpet and uh, kind of mock this up, see what's gonna happen. That's kind of what I'm thinking, something about right there. So let's cut some of this carpet out of the way real quick and uh, we'll cut a hole. Just cut it a little wider. Give ourselves a little extra space here. Okay, so let's double check underneath real quick. I think so, as long as we stay. I'm 
inside this way. Inside of this pinch weld right here will be just fine. So we might have to tuck a corner of it kind of up underneath this, underneath our board there, but I think it'll be just fine. We're not going for perfection here, fellas. Okay. So everybody needs to calm down. All right, this is just kind of like a pinch weld hump. Same with that one, but I think, let's do it just like that. Then we'll press this into the floor, silicone the crap out of it. Maybe shoot a couple self tappers into the sides. Done. Let me go grab a Sharpie and mark this thing out. Well, this hole in here is not straight square or anything, so, but uh, I'll just zip that in with some self-tappers and silicone the hell out of it. It'll be fine. We chewed up the top of the frame section here a little bit, but I mean, I don't know. I think it'll be just fine. It's not really, it's not a lot of it. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, it's that thick under there, so that'll be fine. I mean, it's probably not ideal, and everybody's going to give me crap about it, but I don't really care. Whatever. Screw it. It'll be fine. Okay, so as I stated before, I want to make this removable. So what I decided to do is build a little box, and this is exactly the same dimensions as the air conditioner. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to screw this into the existing floor. So I'm just going to shoot a bunch of screws from the backside and do this. Screw this frame in there. And then I'll put a couple of little eyelets, one inside the box here, and then one going over there. And then basically it'll hook to this corner right here underneath the AC unit and then go over there. And uh, we'll just be able to cinch it down with a strap. So I think that'll work pretty well. And that'll make the AC unit removable. So if it's the winter time, I don't have to haul that thing around too. All right, so I think I got it about lined up where I want it. Uh, the cord, I think it's gonna have to come out of the back. Might have to uh, cut a little notch for that. And actually, I'm gonna 100% have to cut a notch for the cord. So, actually, I don't have to, uh, let's just set it in there and see what happens. Nope, don't have to. Against that. Up against the back of the seat as best I can. Okay. Gonna limit our bed just a little bit but it's nice and secure in there stuff a little bit of foam down on the side so it doesn't make any noise good to go so let's go ahead and snatch this thing out let's screw it down to the floor and this part is done oh, come on there we go all right. I don't know if 
you guys can see what I'm doing because the AC unit's in the way. I'm shooting screws in the floor, okay? Okay, so there we go. So, once again, we're going to silicone the hell out of that. This piece, to take it out, you just slide that out. Of course, every time I start videoing, there's a train. Okay, so anyways, here's what I was saying. So that's in there now. This still slides out all the way. It'll kind of give us enough room. We'll just have to make sure we're not kicking this when we're sitting in here. Um, Got to figure out what I'm going to do with my heater. Um, that's going to be kind of tough because we are really pressed for space. I think I'm going to put the batteries in the back and I might build a little box right here for the uh, diesel heater. Because I think the big thing, uh, radio's on. I think the big thing is going to be that diesel heater. Oh my gosh. I started this thing up because I was starting to get a really cold. So there's my mood lights. <laughs> Man, this thing is really starting to come together. Actually looking like a, like a camper now. Sorry about all the wobbliness and everything. But anyways, yeah. Looking pretty good. I'm getting, getting pretty happy with that. Here's a view from inside. I still got to get into the TV and all that yet, but, you know, I feel very, very comfortable in here. This is plenty of space. And uh, I think that air conditioning being right there is going to be about the best bet for it. But in the summertime, it gets so freaking hot. I just don't want to, I don't want to be running around and staying at campgrounds and stuff without air conditioning, having to run my car all night. I'm also going to get a... Uh, a generator and a trailer hitch so I can put it out back there and run that thing if we're boondocking but yeah I mean I'm I'm feeling good this is really really coming together I guess getting the bed in here really kind of made it feel better more like like homey but uh yeah I'm trying to warm it up in here right now because it's still pretty cold from having the doors open I don't know if you can read that up there but uh, it's 32 degrees outside, and it feels colder than that. So, anyways, here's the inside. I gotta figure out where to put the diesel heater yet. I think I'm gonna put it down there. I may even stuff it in here behind my seat, cause I have that dead space there now. So, I don't know, cause that thing I've got a, I got like a bunch of different components and whatnots for it. So. Let me, uh, let me go dig into the box and kind of see what I have that I have to do with that thing. And uh, we'll figure that out. All the batteries and stuff are going to go underneath here. I'm going to put them on that side under that corner. Inside of the platform underneath there. Eventually we're going to put some solar in here. And uh, so that we can charge those. For the time being what's going to happen is I'm going to run. I'm going to have a uh, electrical panel in here. And... Uh, yeah, I got to plug that hole. I know. Don't say anything. Anyways, I'm going to put an electrical panel somewhere underneath here. And all this, all these electrical cords are going to run to that. And that's going to be coming from, uh, or going to a uh, power inverter. So once again, we still got to figure a lot of stuff out. But I mean, for right now, for all intents and purposes, if you really wanted to stay in this thing, you could. The bed's done. The platform's done. I mean, worst case, if you really wanted to use the air conditioning, just run an extension cord through the window, <laughs> plug it in. But uh, it's the middle of the winter, so I'm not worried about that. Um, as far as heat goes, realistically, get you a bunch of blankets and turn the car on if it gets too cold in here. So, I mean, in all honesty, it's getting pretty close to where I can actually use it, and that's what I want. I want to be able to use it, and we can still work on it later. So, anyways, I'm done jabbering. Um, let me uh, go dig in my diesel heater box and see what I want to do. We take some of this stuff apart and kind of see what kind of goodies we got hiding up in here. I haven't decided if I want to save this wood panel yet, so we're gonna try to try to be gentle on it. Okay, I got a screwdriver right outside. Yeah.
boy. Oh, it's cold out there. And I know 32 degrees ain't that cold, but it definitely feels like it right now. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This panel is structural at all. It's a holding any of this in. So hopefully, whenever I pull this out, it doesn't freaking cause any problems. Oh, yep, yeah, nope. That's just mounted right to the front of it. Just unplug all this crap. Okay. No big deal. Easy enough. Is this that? Yeah. <laughs> it's just slid in there. Okay. So. So we've got. Oh, this is a DC. Oh my gosh. There's so much space in there. This is a. I'm going to keep these brackets from the side. Might make a little shelf or something out of those. See that? Those are pretty handy. None of this was even screwed in, which is crazy. Alright, got those. Great news, we get to save our beautiful panel there. Is this TV just set in here? TV in there then. Okay, we're gonna have to get get a little silly with this TV, I think. It's just wedged in really hard. All right. Okay. I don't know what all this goes to, but we're gonna. Sweet man. I got freaking. I got DC power up here. So that's nice. So I can just plug some stuff into this and uh, find out where it goes. We'll just take it off of keyed power and put it on to constant. That'd be pretty cool. This is a very, very simple setup here. I'm guessing all this goes to the speakers. I may just leave that radio in there. Just because. Why not? But uh, this old TV. And uh, this VCR are going. The TV has seen better days, anyways. But this is kind of nice. So, if you look up in here, first of all, there's a ton of space in there. So, I could probably, I might just jam my battery in there and then put a board across the face here to hold the battery in, run some charge wires in here. I might just put all my electronics in here, if I'm honest with you, and then hang a TV in front of it, because this is all already here, and that's a lot of unused space up in there. So I got one of two options, I either use it as storage, or I put batteries in there. And my plan is to put a TV across here. So if we've already got this space and it's being unused, why not let's just jam a freaking TV or jam uh, some batteries in there? This is pretty much just a battery tray, right? Oh, that's crazy. Look at this. This is, this is the roof of the, the car. They just zipped it off. It's even painted and everything. <laughs> it's crazy. What can I shoot? Come here, dude. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Oh, look at him with his little shoes. Sit down. 
Sit down. Oh, stretch your stuff. Get stretch it, your stuff. It, oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's so weird that it's in the 60s right now and there's so much ice still right here. Crazy. Thick ice. Yeah, girl, you clean up that donkey. Pick up them poops. <laughs> Your, your amusement is, I can see. What is this? Why is there a rag in our yard? I don't know. Well, the neighbors next door have just like, I don't know if they're restoring the property or what, but I've lived here for, what, six months now we've been here? I haven't seen a single person there. Also, their tree, I don't know if it was their tree or what. I can't see where it would have come from. Oh, right there. See it? That snapped off in the snowstorm. Luckily, it didn't land on our house or our fence or anything. But we've got this giant tree limb in our yard I gotta deal with, so I'm gonna chop that thing up. Also, we sold the avalanche, didn't we? Sold the avalanche, and now I have my driveway back. The camper van is still here. I decided not to put the uh, heater in it yet because we're rolling into some warmer months. It's 60 something degrees outside today. I did cut the holes for it for the exhaust and the intake. So what I'll do with that is we'll throw this over the top of it, self tapper it in there for the summer months so that I don't have to worry about it. And then once it starts getting a little cold and I get more time, I'll put that in. Got that in, beds installed. Got the TV put in. We'll run all that off of a off of a power bank, solar generator. I might uh, probably gonna put a solar panel on the roof. This thing's turning out pretty good. So, anyways, let's go cut this tree up real quick. Get that done. Okay, so before I end the video, I'm going to go through a couple of things that I've decided to use here to kind of make this all work. Um, so number one is I got this thing. It's an EcoFlow. Um, I think it's a 540 or something. I bought it secondhand, like dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. So also, by the way, I bought some uh, gear so I can use uh, use my camera stuff hands free. And by camera stuff, I mean my uh, my cell phone because I'm poor and I don't have cameras. So let me turn this on, let the TV boot up, and then I'll climb in here and kind of show you what it looks like laying in the bed. Also, for the other power, I got a giant marine battery um, that's supposed to be, I think it's like 
couple hundred amp hours something 214 or something i don't know anyways that should work pretty good um let's see if it says on the side here i don't remember 122 amp hours so <coughs> 122 amp hour battery so if you look up in there you can kind of see my tv what i got going on there so my tv is set up this is roku now here's the great part let me take this off my chest mount so i can just point my camera 16 hours running that tv so i can watch tv for 16 hours with that and then when i'm driving i can plug that into my cigarette lighter or run it off the solar panels whenever I get those installed. But let me climb in here real quick, show you. I'm just gonna throw a rug down here. I'm not even gonna finish under the bed. I decided that uh, it's just gonna stay in this configuration. We're not even gonna mess with it. That's gonna stay in there. Diesel heater will drop in over there on the other side, but we're getting to where it's warm enough now. I don't really need it. If it gets cold at night, I'll turn the car on. But, there you go. So, I think this is going to be pretty sweet. Let's see if my uh, internet will reach out here. I don't know if the TV's connected or not, but we're about to find out. Show sure enough. Look at there. Internet reaches out here. Got some TV. We're good to go there. I have a portable Wi-Fi thing that I used to use in my camper that is now inside my house. It's actually my Wi-Fi for my house, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if this thing will play. Oh, Cleater. Rock and roll. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Here's a mess because I took my hat off. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is my van. I think it's actually campable now. Like I said, I'll throw some rugs in here, but as far as everything went, total cost of this with the van, I mean, I maybe 3,500 bucks into this thing. So, I mean, for a full-blown camper van, I'm pretty, pretty freaking excited about it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.